car all packed, 35 pounds, got my axe, heading out of the homestead. Okay, so heading off, uh, heading off for a solo overnight winter camp. I go to um, Harriman State Park in the uh, West Mountain uh, Shelter Loop. So I'm actually going to be, it's about 5.1 mile loop, uh, not very long. Uh, and about halfway through, first day, I'm just going to, it's just a couple miles up to the West Mountain uh, Shelter. It's a cold one today. It's definitely in the 20s. Going to get into at least the teens, maybe even single digits tonight. I got a 35 pound pack I'm bringing up. Mainly because I, I like some of the uh, creature comforts in life. So some of the stuff I probably didn't need to bring, but it's a short distance, so eh, whatever. About to leave the house about an hour away uh, from Connecticut. I'm super excited. I haven't been out for a really cold night in a, uh, quite a long time, so off to Bear Mountain. Are so good. I have a quarter mile in. Uh, this is a nice low land right here. Just did a little hike up a hill. But that wasn't too bad. Yeah, just touch and base. Smells good right now. Comfortable walk, getting a little exercise. Decide 35 pound pack. A decent amount of weight. <laughs> Brought my poles. I always like to bring my poles because, uh, A, my bag, I don't have them in it right now because I'm too lazy. Uh, the Osprey has a nice little holder, so even when they're out, slide them through and it'll, they'll just stick out the back so you get them out of your hands if you need to do shit. So, I guess this fur starts getting a little, a uh, little more uphill. Okay, so you can see on the map, like, uh, come out to the, uh, the closest ridge, and then uh, pretty much uh, follows a ridge along uh, over to the lean to. So, uh, up we go. Okay, boom. Beautiful view. Yeah, we're not even here. The time when you'll come home, but it's such a So glad uh, I'm working up a sweat because uh, the wind is ripping and it's pretty fucking cold. Excuse my French. Beautiful view though. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so I went on this, uh, well, now to be solo trip. Uh, it's only solo because uh, one of my best friends, Mark got into a really bad car accident uh, and he was supposed to go with me this weekend and he is cooped up in the hospital because uh, of COVID he can't have any visitors uh, so this is going out to you Mark I know you can't be here with me but at least this is uh, you know you can pretend you're here right now uh, and it's cold as shit so uh, not the best of uh, comfortable condition 
but the sun is shining and life is good. And you know what? Mark's alive. trail is right there didn't notice it went a decent amount as you see on the map from my old trail down on the AT going that way so duh okay a little extra exercise whatever I'm old I need it so butts up with the yellow uh, which I think the yellow is the trail that all shoots down over there I think yep that's arrow so uh, yep following the blue Okay, as you can see by the map, where I am, I'm at the junction. Uh, blue's here, yellow's right there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I wanted to follow the blue. And when you come out the next day, if you're only staying at the, the uh, shelter area and coming back to do the loop, you gotta come back and you gotta follow the yellow. shelter area. It's like plenty of people around. So, so I don't have to worry about animals. What's up guys? Okay, so unfortunately Definitely, there's some people up here and some people in the shelter. So, uh, yeah, I won't be able to enjoy that. But, uh, ironically enough, the spot that me and Mark stayed at last time uh, is free. So, uh, our fire pits need some a little, little bit of loving, but uh, I got nice flat spaces for a tent here. So, I'm in pretty good shape. And there's my neighbors. Okay, so this is what I'm running with today. I saw a two person, uh, and I knew when I bought it that two person, uh, a little tight for two people. You can do it. It's probably keep each other warm, but uh, not a huge amount of room for two. It's a very comfortable one now. I'm digging it. Uh, so it's a nature hike outdoors, uh, the Up Cloud 2. Uh, and this is the one with the upgrade. It has the fly with the uh, snow sleeves. Uh, so that you could pack the snow onto the side for 175 bucks. Uh, well worth it, I would say. Okay, so uh, there it is with the fly. Uh, pretty nice. I am pushing my luck with how close the pit is, obviously. But I'm going to situate something and make this work. Well, I got lucky. It's like New York, not a lot of wood in this... Uh, area down tr trees that uh people aren't using except for thick stuff and luckily somebody at this side site had a piece so i usually always bring a saw with me i brought my axe as well see if i can split these guys up hopefully they're not frozen or else i probably will abandon that thought but enough sticks and stuff get something going running all night not sure i'm gonna see See if I can process these at all. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get some smoldering going. Uh, okay. Figure I show you my axe, first time out with it. My amazing wife, sorry, I gotta get down here to talk. My amazing wife got me uh, Grand's Forth and Brook axe. See that? It's beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Uh, small forest axe, uh, it's called. Uh, it has just enough shaft to get it a little bit of a swing, but it's really meant for like um, 
more lemon and stuff, but I'm using it to process wood, so. Yeah. <clears throat> I gotta be careful not to freaking hit the rock, but yeah, cuts good. Yeah, just got started. It'll take just fine. Okay, so winter camping. Something I definitely recommend. I got them a while back. I actually, this is the first time I've been out, and um, my toes are a little chilly. Well, these are really thick wool socks. Wool, wool, wool. I think if you ask anybody in the camping world, Never wear cotton socks out. I don't think it uh, will benefit you. Uh, cold, uh, you get away with it, but you're so thin anyway. And then, camping slippers. These things, I have been living in. Kind of go to work in them and everything. But it's got a nice down top, so my feet stay nice and toasty warm. Uh, and of course, I have a nice fire going really see the flame from here all good and got these mittens too they're lightweight down dog leave but they were on clearance from sierra trading get like 20 bucks for them and they're really nice and toasty warm and they got a nice grip to them too uh, yeah like too much of a grip now look at that view it's like a time of fire Scrapers. Got the fire going. It's in and out, but because uh, the wood's a little frozen, it's keeping me warm right now. Good morning, all. Waking up to. Eh. 1918 somewhere somewhere in the upper teens but I made a of I tried to heat my water I should have brought an insulated tube or something I had my water lying in my bag just keep that from freezing and I had uh, the water under here under my clothes and stuff um, and it's not frozen but the line Right here, I got frozen. So, you know, I didn't want to stick the whole thing in my bag, but I probably should have. Lesson learned. Um, prep kept pretty warm. I got my 20 degree bag. Uh, I'm gonna be making a new bag in the future. Uh, but I have my thermal bag, which works well. Of course, condensation. Play the factor, so I got a little ice in. But overall, uh, worked out pretty well. Enjoying my coffee with some chocolate. Okay, I'm off heading away from the West Mountain Shelter. There's the blue trail and where I came up is uh, the blue yellow going down that way. So I'm actually gonna take the loop following the yellow trail now uh, around. I honestly, I don't remember if it's yellow all the way or something else, but basically I'm gonna go that way. Uh, you can see on the map, uh, uh, I'm gonna take the, the right going out. Oh, I tell you, it is cold out here. Uh, not one to complain. I guess I'm not complaining. I'm moving. I'm getting warm, but uh, keep my fingers and toes warm when I was packing up was uh, not an easy task. Uh, these uh, mittens came in freaking handy. Not easy to use them to uh, to actually uh, do things. I need your finger knots and stuff like that. Thank God I didn't really. Have too many knots to do, but uh, 
had to sacrifice a few, uh, I just took a wrong turn because I'm not paying attention. Uh, I'd, uh, I lost a couple of stakes because he froze in the ground, so, uh, I, I didn't really know what else to do with that because the wind was incredible, so, would have been, uh, uh, oh, I guess I didn't go the wrong way. So, I tell you, um, luckily there's no ice out, uh, because I didn't bring my micro spikes, but coming down this way, uh, it's definitely... Uh, real rocky, a lot of loose rocks, so, uh, and then, you know, I got ways to go down, uh, but then I'll be in the lowland area, so, uh, if I don't catch all this cold wind, uh, I'll definitely have to remember not to come here in the winter, uh, so I just came down that, it's just all, like, loose rock, and, uh, so it's definitely a, a little bit of a challenge I'm at the bottom. So this is the first uh, water source I found. Uh, it's like, yeah, uh, pretty much all the way down to the lowest area that I'm, uh, I've been in. And yeah, it goes all the way over there. Um, yeah, I took a screenshot of, of where it is, just in case uh, you're up here camping, you come down to yellow and need some water bingo we'll also see this beautiful thing is when you come down this side of the mountain next day you get the nice beautiful morning sun on you the entire time it's amazing it feels great Okay, we're coming up to our junction, uh, where the Yell Trail, where we're going to go from the Yell Trail. We're hopping on 1777 uh, West Trail, which heads off to the left. Uh, that'll head us back to the parking lot. Uh, last time I was here, oh, me and my friend Mark were here, uh, we did two trails off to the right. Uh, both of them head towards uh, old abandoned town, Doodle Town. Uh, so it, for a day trip, really great to come out here and uh, it's not a bad walk. Uh, going over there, uh, you see stuff like concrete steps, uh, there's foundations, and there's plaques uh, just describing the property. Uh, there's an uh, old cemetery, uh, which was really cool, so I'll, I'll put some of those pictures up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just thought it was something notable. Okay, I came up to another junction. Uh, this is just a, a side trail to the left, so... Uh, continue on to the right, and then there's gonna be another one on the right. So you're bearing left, and then we'll be back at the parking lot. And this is where we bear left, head up to 1777. Okay, so a uh, little bit back there, the 1777 merge with AT, uh, which is the north side of the AT going south, uh, which is the direction we went on. To go to the loop and actually the sign is right here almost killed myself so uh so when we came in we went to the south of at around and then uh we merged back so it's a nice little loop we're heading to the lot now not too much further okay made it down to the parking area make sure tonka's still there